G'day guys, today I am playing Flans mod for Minecraft after 10 years. So this mod released back in 2014 and was a massive military vehicles, weapons and guns mod. There's heaps to cover and so we're going to get into it today. Now the first thing that I want to mention is that I do not actually have Flans mod installed. I'm using other mods to mimic the experience of Flans mod. Because unfortunately, Flan has taken down his mod, I can't get to his website, there's only a legacy version of the mod on CurseForge, and it doesn't have any of the data packs that I need to actually use the weapons and vehicles. So I'm using the Timeless Guns mod for the guns, and I'm using the Immersive Vehicles mods and its packs for the vehicles. Alrighty, so let's start it off strong with some pistols. This is the uh, 1911. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Kills a ghast in two shots. The Ravagers are a bit more tanky, but it's got some beautiful range. Two hits for a sheep. Absolutely lovely. So that's the 1911. Let's use the Colt Python next. Now that had a real nice little um, animation when I pulled it out. That was really nice. Let's see that again. Oh yeah, we got a little, little gun twirl. And so... This is me in third person, just pointing a gun directly at the camera. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, let's test this one out. Oh, that is satisfying. Oh, this has got some range on this bad boy. Come on, I'm going to kill that cow. Die, man! <laughs> Finally! Now, you would normally have to reload, but because I'm in creative and I can't be bothered getting all ammo for everything, I do not have to reload. But yeah, so that's the uh, the Colt Python. Now, we've got the Desert Eagle. Everyone knows and loves the Desert Eagle. Now that, that is satisfying. One taps a sheep. Absolutely beautiful gun. The sound effects are just so amazing in this. And there's proper animations for reloading and everything. Um, it's amazing. Alrighty, so let's start it off with the Vector. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's got some fire rate. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Yeah, the full autos are definitely great. You wouldn't think guns would fit so well in Minecraft, but they've been around for... Over 10 years, and they they fit wonderfully. They're <laughs> very well done. All right, we got the M1A1 or the Thompson. This is probably one of my favorite guns. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds pretty bloody good. That's, that's beautiful. Man, this mod is awesome. Although we are holding it like it's very small. <laughs> it's a bit disproportionately small. Alright, now the P90, here we go. Now the cool thing about this mod as well is that all these guns aren't... All the ones that I'm using here are stock. You can actually mod them with all these different things. You can get incendiary ammo, all these different types of ammo. You can get extended mags, you can get different scopes and that. I couldn't quite figure out how to actually put them on myself. Um, and I couldn't be bothered trying too hard but yeah so you can get all these cool different scopes and that on them as well which is pretty cool i'll just be using the iron sights for them all but that's all right okay we got our um full autos our assault rifles so we got the fortnite scar of course and the ak-47 oh yeah that's beautiful that sounds just great man these guns are really good the ravagers don't stand a chance <laughs> Yeah, no, that's pretty, that's pretty good. I like it. And then we got the Scar, which I haven't actually tried. Oh, yeah. Man, this is too good. This is too much fun. <laughs> so that's the Assault Rifle. It's looking pretty good. We got a Sniper Rifle and then two... Uh, yep. <laughs> Put that away for the time being. Two kind of insane weapons now um i love this thing this is just absolutely awesome <laughs> it pretty much two taps the ravages it should one tap this cow 
Yeah, goodbye cow. <laughs> this is the uh, 50 caliber Barrett, I believe. Um, so yeah, huge, huge <laughs> caliber. Sounds absolutely beautiful and the, uh, the firepower definitely reflects that with how easily <laughs> you can destroy things. So, um, damn, these, I'm just slaughtering ravages. These guys are going to be extinct by the end of the video. But, <laughs> that has got to be like a quarter of his health per shot. And he's dead. Four shots with a 50 cal and you have killed the wither boss. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty wild. But I don't think the wildness compares to either of these two. These two are just absolutely insane and too much fun. So... This, of course, is the RPG. Now, it doesn't sound as crazy as it probably should, and it doesn't actually blow up the ground either, which is a little bit disappointing, but if you want to destroy things, it does a pretty good job of it. <laughs> but probably my favourite weapon from the mod, and the most destructive one, is the minigun. Now look at this bad boy. <laughs> when you gotta hold it down like that, you know he's gonna be pretty insane. So this guy, you can't zoom in, he just twirls around, and you just... <coughs> That's killing my voice, so I'm not gonna do that. I'll let the gun do the work. Uh, so yeah. What we can move on to now, though, is the vehicles. So these are the Immersive Vehicles mod. Flans mod also had a whole load of vehicles in it, from just normal vehicles to military vehicles. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. We'll start off with just some normal stuff. But yeah, so we got this red car. Now, the thing with the this mod, and it made it great because you can mod the cars and change them to how you like. It's just not very good for creative mode. I need to put wheels on, I need to put the engine in, I need to do everything. Okay, so it turns out this whole <laughs> system is way too confusing for me. I would need to spend a lot of time to try and familiarise myself with it and watch a whole load of videos. So I think instead I'm just going to spawn in a whole load of the different vehicles and we'll just look at them. We'll look at all the different sizes and how they look and all that sort of thing. Um, but I'm not going to be able to get any of them operational. But in Flans mod and in this mod, um, you'd be able to fly these planes and drive the cars. And the, it, like even the tanks, you would have been able to shoot their um, guns and all of that sort of thing. It's just too much for me to figure out on my own right now. So <laughs> let's just have a look at some of the vehicles quickly. So this looks like an aeroplane. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, a very big aeroplane. <laughs> This is, like I said, a commercial airliner. This looks like a Boeing. Um, yeah, got a lot of lot of seats on here. Very, very big plane. <laughs> and then here's a massive artillery piece. That is just absolutely huge. Beautiful. Like the models in that look great. They look awesome. This one is a Grahuhutua. Um you got the BT-30. So you can, you can like, modify... Okay, this one looks like just like a half-track sort of thing. But you can modify, like, these ones with all different turrets and that. I'll just see if I can try and find a turret that goes onto it. So, yeah, here, here's a turret that you can chuck onto it. And you just pop it in like that, and then you've got an awesome-looking anti-air vehicle thing. Um, so, yeah, that's nice. But still, I would have to figure out fuels and that for everything. Unless I can find one of the few things that is already pre-fueled. Because it did say there were some pre-fueled vehicles, but I cannot find any at the moment. Uh, we got a BU-40 Shizzer Knight Attack. Okay, that is a jet. Very much a jet aircraft. That's pretty cool. Let's just keep going along. What else do we have? Um... Got another airship. Is this one bigger or smaller than the other one? Okay. Uh, about the same size, but this one looks very much less friendly than that one. <laughs> so we're just going to have an airship hanging out above us. 
Um, let's see what other things we got. So there's some more jets than that. This one looks cool. You got some helicopters as well. So we got this one. Yeah, these look like real jets as well. I don't know what sort of model they'd be. Um, but they look like... They, these are all like Russian looking. They look like the MiGs or the TUs that the Russians have. Pretty cool looking. Um, they've definitely done an awesome job with the models. And if you've got like a... Oh wow, that's cool looking. That helicopter looks awesome. That's sick. That is so cool. Oh my god, wait. Something that's... Wait a second, wait a minute. We've got rotors moving. I'm moving. Very slowly. I need to... <laughs> I need to go up. Please. Helicopter. How do I fly you? <laughs> He's kind of just bugging out in the floor at the moment. Am I stuck? Maybe this gets mounted onto something as well. Maybe it's not like an individual weapon that you can actually- Oh! Nope, I was- <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that scared me. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's beautiful! Okay, we figured something out, guys, and it's very satisfying. I can burn the whole world down. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Burn down all these stupid vehicles. None of them want to work. None of them want to work at all. I can't figure it out. It's too advanced. I might be dumb, but these are stupid. Let it all burn. Let the world burn. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my recreation of this. If you did, please do leave a like. And if you've got any suggestions for the Nostalgia series, please leave them in the comments down below. But hopefully, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!